there's a lot of ignorance around clean energy. And I don't mean that as an insult. I was ignorant about it myself for a long time. And I'm someone who spent decades working in traditional power generation. I've turned wrenches in these fossil plants. Um, I've worked across systems people still call reliable and proven. I understood how the grid worked, or at least I thought I understood how it worked. What I didn't understand back then was clean energy. I dismissed it. I underestimated it. I assumed it was unreliable, too expensive, and not serious enough to power the real world. And I was wrong. Not because of politics, not because of pressure, but because as the buzz around clean energy grew, I wanted to understand it for myself. So I dug into the real projects, the data, the economics, and how these systems actually perform. And once you do that, it becomes very hard to ignore what clean energy actually represents. But before we dive in, take a second to like the episode, subscribe, turn on those notifications. It's free and it helps more people hear conversations like this. Now let's get into it. So clean energy feels untraditional because it breaks the model people grew up with. For over a century, energy worked like this. Power was generated far away. It was owned by utilities. It delivered one way and customers had no control over price, reliability, or supply. That model, it really trained people to believe that energy must be centralized and energy must be fuel-based. Energy is something you buy, not something you manage. Clean energy challenges all of that. It doesn't just replace a fuel. It changes who controls energy, where it's produced, and how costs behave over time. That's why it makes people uncomfortable. So here's an important distinction. Clean energy technology isn't new. Clean energy at scale is. Solar panels, wind turbines, batteries. These aren't experiments. They've been around for decades. What's new is how fast they can be deployed, how cheaply they can be installed, and how directly they put control in the hands of homes, businesses, and communities. Whenever technology starts scaling fast, it often gets misunderstood. We've seen this before with the internet, mobile phones, cloud computing, electric vehicles. At first, they're dismissed, then they're criticized, then they're everywhere. Clean energy is in that transition right now. And here's the part that doesn't get said out loud often enough. Clean energy isn't just misunderstood, it's disruptive. It reduces dependence on utilities. It reduces exposure to fuel price volatility and reliance on long distance transmission. It reduces vulnerability to outages. When someone installs solar storage or microgrid behind the meter, they're not just buying power, they're becoming independent. They're locking in energy cost. They're reducing risk. They're gaining resilience. That's not how the traditional system was designed to work. And systems don't like being disrupted, even when the disruption is better. And that brings me to a myth. One of the biggest myths is that clean energy is expensive. The reality is the cost of clean energy technologies keeps coming down while electricity prices from the grid keep going up. Clean energy has no fuel costs, low operating expenses, and predictable long-term pricing. Traditional generation depends on fuel markets, geopolitical risk, and maintenance heavy infrastructure. Clean energy flips the cost curve. Once it's built, the economics get boring, and boring is good when you're talking about energy bills. People who understand that stop asking, can this work? And they start asking, why wouldn't I do this? This misunderstanding matters. It's not academic. It has consequences. It slows deployment. It drives bad policy. It pushes us towards slower, more expensive solutions. And it keeps people locked into a system that gives them less control and higher risk. I mean, clean energy is not a silver bullet. It doesn't solve everything, and it doesn't replace every type of generation overnight. But it does solve real problems, faster, cheaper, and closer to where it's needed than most alternatives. Ignoring that because it feels unfamiliar is how we fall behind. So clean energy is not traditional, and that's the point. It represents a shift from centralized control to local control, from fuel risk to price stability, from dependency to resilience. The people who recognize that early don't just save money. They gain leverage over their energy future. 
If this episode helped reframe how you think about clean energy, hit subscribe. Because understanding what's actually changing is the first step towards using it to your advantage. We'll catch you next time.